Hello and welcome to our introduction and demonstration of our new forensics audio tool, Easy Voice Biometrics. Now of all the areas of forensic audio study, one of the most difficult is in speaker identification. There are lots of tools out there that can do noise reduction and speaker enhancement, but speaker ID is kind of in a category all by itself. It requires an expert who typically has had extensive training and experience in doing the type of manual speaker identification that's traditionally been done. The work is therefore expensive, can be time consuming, can require a court order to get a suspect to give a speech sample, and it can be open to interpretation on the stand. Easy Voice Biometrics will solve at least some of these problems and it'll make speaker identification fast and easy when it's used to eliminate potential suspects. Now first we should explain what the program is capable of doing. You can think of it almost like an audio lineup. You have a suspect, you put them in with a group of other people who may or may not be similar to the suspect in physical appearance and you ask a person to pick the suspect out of the lineup. And that's basically what we're going to do with Easy Voice Biometrics. We're going to have a group of speech recordings and we're going to have an unknown speech recording and we're going to ask the program to do a comparison of that unknown recording with the entire group of known recordings. It's then going to give us an idea as to whether there's a match between our unknown recording and any of the known recordings. So let's get started with showing you the program by presenting the opening screen as you see here. Now everything is blank in this. It's had nothing loaded into it. It's called a project. This project is blank. The first thing we'll want to do is add some objects to our library. I'm going to do it the quick and easy way by going under projects and telling it to import files. Now I have a group of files that are ready to be imported into the program. These are speech recordings and I will input them all into the program. What you see here is it's analyzing each and every recording and creating a mathematical model for that recording. The biometric information that is unique to each speaker in these recordings. Recordings don't have to be very long. The program requires at least five or six seconds of good audio but it may not measure all the audio as being good in a recording and we find that if you give it 10 or 15 or 20 seconds or even more uh, the results will be even better. Now for the purposes of this demonstration we're not going to show you every feature of the program. We'll do that in succeeding videos but to have a quick look and understand what this program does Let's start by checking two files to see if they have the same speaker. Now to make sure we didn't have any copyright issues, we're going to use a Richard Nixon recordings to do this first test. The Richard Nixon press conference recording, I will simply drag to the compare with window. And you can see it's now in this window. And I will use a Richard Nixon 1970 recording and put it in the target object window. The target object is the unknown recording in the real world and the compare with is one or more of known recordings. And here, uh, this is interesting because the Richard Nixon press conference was done in 1972. This was the uh, very famous press conference where he said, uh, I am not a crook. This is a speech from 1960. In fact, it's part of the Nixon-Kennedy uh, debate that happened just before the election. Uh, this one is 1972, so we have a 12 year time difference. We have totally different rooms, totally different recordings, and perhaps very importantly, totally different things being said. Easy Voice Biometrics does not require that the speaker say certain things to do this analysis. Now that we have our two files in the two areas to compare them, let's click on one of the files. Now here's the time domain display for the Richard Nixon press conference. I'm going to let you hear this, and I'll just click play and listen to it. I want to say this to the television audience. I made my mistakes. 
But in all of my years of public life, I have never profited, never profited from public service. You can hear that there seems to be uh, a noise reduction going on, and you can see it in the waveform here. What the EVB is doing is uh, focusing only on the speech and ignoring all the other sounds and background information that's there. That's why, even though we have an almost 45 second recording, it found 21 seconds of speech here. Now let's listen to the 1960 recording. Listen to how much different this one is in terms of the noise floor and the overall sound of the audio. As far as Berlin is concerned, there isn't any question about the necessity of defending Berlin, the right to there to be free, and there is... All right. And as you can hear, it sounds very much different. The audio is weaker. Um, the signal-to-noise ratio is not as good. Um, so this is a good example of a situation where we want to find out, is it the same guy on these two recordings? Of course, this is a very common type of speaker identification issue where you have a known sample and you simply want to compare that one to the other one. And so let's just do it. All we need to do is press Start Comparison, which I'm going to do now. The program will normally take no more than two seconds to do this analysis. And that means if there are a hundred here, which is the maximum number that you can compare to, it'll still take only about two seconds to do that comparison. And here's our result. An 86% match and a green square. Green square means high confidence that this is the same speaker. We also have a yellow square which is basically not a positive identification. It's telling you there are some similarities and a gray square which means there are uh, very striking differences in the two and it's unlikely that there's a match. But here we can have a fairly high probability that this is in fact a match. Now you might say 86 percent that's pretty high but it's not a hundred percent and that is true. Uh, we'd certainly want then an expert to look at this and confirm the findings but you'd now only hire an expert because you are fairly certain that that expert's going to concur and find that these are the same speakers. Uh, before you'd have to hire an expert for every pair you wanted to do. In this case, we can eliminate non-matches and only focus our expert opinions on matches. And so, there's a quick demonstration of Easy Voice Biometrics, the new easy way to do speaker identification.